How's it going, y'all? Texan Trout here. It has been a hot second since I've seen you guys. I am super excited to be back and making videos again. I actually just moved the other day and now I'm down here in coastal Texas, right around the Corpus Christi area. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. Uh, you probably see it a lot in saltwater videos. This is like a really, really popular saltwater destination. I'm gonna be making videos down in this area for now on. As far as freshwater fishing goes, guys, don't worry. There are plenty, plenty of ponds around here. Like for instance, there's one right back there right now. I'm about to go fish that in this video. And these ponds are just completely, they're pristine. No one fishes them. For some reason, everyone here seems to have the mentality that because there's salt water so close at all these ponds, there's just no fish in them. I don't understand. I don't know where they get that idea from. This pond is actually one of the fished ones. This one is pretty well known to the area. To the maybe, I don't know, like 10 freshwater fishermen down here. Most of the freshwater bodies here, the ponds, the lakes, they do not get fish. They don't get any pressure. But uh, as far as salt water goes, I do have have a bunch of saltwater videos planned. I used to fish saltwater like a lot when I was a kid. I used to go out probably every morning with my grandpa. We'd buy some like shrimp or something like that and we'd go wet some lines for a while. I'm going to be bringing that back. I'm probably going to be doing some saltwater videos pretty soon. I don't know if any of you guys like saltwater fishing. I don't mind it. I prefer freshwater 100%. I love the hunt of freshwater fishing. It just feels so much more engaging. But yeah, man, a lot of untouched ponds around here. You know, back in San Antonio, um, there is just so much pressure. Like every pond over there, every lake over there is just so pressured. I don't think I found a single body of water over there that hasn't been fished by someone at least once. But stay tuned because at the end of this video, I'm going to have a huge surprise for you guys. I think you're really, really gonna like it. So uh, without further ado, let's get to fishing. All right, here we are, spot number one of the day. I've heard from a friend that there are quite large bass in here. So today I'm hoping we get at least something from this pond. I know we're gonna get something today. Not sure when it's gonna be, but I know we are. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the vile bug. I was having super, super success with this at my friend's pond. So I think this orange color stands out here. We have a lot of that brown tonic water. I think that's what it's called, tonic? Gin clear, kind of. All right, let's make a cast. Right over there. I'm pretty sure the natural forage in this area is mostly craws and bluegill. And I'm pretty sure we have this pretty like red breasted sign of fish here. I think these are like little tiny lily pads, like baby lily pads. It's gonna be a little tough to fish around them. I'm not worried though. Oh, I saw something right there. I saw something right there in all that gunk. Oh, fish. Okay, there we go. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge pulling them through all this gunk. Oh, there we go. Dude, you came with a side salad, look at you. All right, y'all, first fish of the day. Check them out. Not too bad. Decent sized little largy. Got them on the vile bug. I oh, mean, I'm really starting to like that vile bug, especially in that Alabama craw color. I just keep smoking them on it, man. Let's go ahead and get a release on them. Dude, I knew I saw stuff moving out there. As soon as I walked up, I saw a bunch of stuff moving in this, in this gunk right here. Man, he absolutely smoked that thing. That was a hard bite. All right, let's shoot it back out there again. Oh my gosh, a fish. <laughs> All right, come here, bass. Get up here. Wow, it went through the lily pads and he got it. I was trying to fix my rod. What's up, little largy? Fish number two. They are so beautiful out here. It's almost black on top. Beautiful, beautiful bass. All right, let's toss him back. Bye bye, little dude. Surprised me, I wasn't even expecting a fish. I'm trying to cast in that channel right there. That goes right to the other side of that pond. fish. Oh, I missed him. All right, so the last spot went dead, so I ended up moving on. Right now I'm by some apartments and they have a pond back here and it looks really juicy. I've been seeing nothing but shad on the water and like constant wakes from bass. I think I saw a gar earlier too. All right, first cast of the new spot. Thank <laughs> you. 
fish. <laughs> What's up, little man? Pretty little bass. Man, he was barely hooked. It was literally just skin hooking him. Hey, little dude. <laughs> First fish at the new spot. Oh, dude, there's a gar right there. There's a big old gar. Holy moly. <laughs> Can't believe there's gar in here. I knew I thought I saw one earlier. It has been forever since I've seen a gar. They're beautiful fish. Man, if I caught a gar, I would be, I'd just be so happy. I have never caught a gar before. Oh, do you see that? I'm pretty sure that's those gar jumping. They feed like super aggressive on shad. Oh my gosh, a gar followed my lure. There's a big old gar right there. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see his fin. Holy moly, dude. That was like a three foot gar right there. Oh my goodness, right in that drain. Fish on. Oh. He came off. Oh. Are you kidding me? I just snapped my lure off. I don't know where that went. Let's try out a little bit of Okeechobee craw. Maybe this blue sparkle will come through the water a little easier. Okeechobee craw has been one of my real big producing colors. All right, let's try this again. I keep missing him. He bit again. Right now I'm casting inside of this culvert pipe beneath me, but I don't think it's very deep in there. It doesn't go very far back. There was something biting over here though. I don't know what it was. Don't know where it went. I'm pretty sure that guard do not bite soft plastics. Oh, fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. He chased it. What's up, bass? Hook out. Check him out, y'all. Oh, got my craw on your gills. Dang, you choked it. <laughs> Little bass. Beautiful. Gotta love him. All right, let's get a release on him. I think I just got a bite. Fish on. Oh, it feels like a pretty good fish. Come here. Not a bad bass. Hey, little dude. Yet another pretty bass. Beautiful, beautiful bass. I love their green colors here. All right, ready to go. Oh! A gar was on it. Did y'all see that? Oh my goodness. Look what he did. He absolutely destroyed it. <laughs> he took the claws right off. Oh my goodness. When I yanked the hook, I saw him jump out of the water. So that may be what was biting it earlier because I saw that little gar over there. Holy smokes, y'all. I hope the camera caught that. I really do. Man, I'm just losing all my vile bugs today. Gonna have to order some more. What was that? What'd you get? Oh, I got a bass earlier and I almost got an alligator gar just now. I didn't know there was gars in here. Yeah, there's a big one in there too. Hello. Thank you for choosing Sonic House now, babe. Uh, let me get a uh, Route 44 Cranberry Limeade Slush. Uh, Route 44 Cranberry Limeade Slush. Extra cranberries. It's going to come on for 226 miles right now. All right, thank you. Cranberry Limeade Slush. 
You guys have to try. Oh, I just broke the lid. Oh no. Anyways, you guys have to try this. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful slush. Cranberry is extremely underrated, especially in the slush world. If you guys have Sonic, where's the logo? There it is. Go try this. I'm begging you guys. All right, y'all, here we are. Last spot of the day. I've actually fished here before didn't get anything and I am seeing a gar in the water already. I'm not sure if there's even bass in here. I've heard from some people who live here that there's bass inside this pond but uh, it's actually across the street from where I was just fishing at and I'm seeing like tons of baby fish everywhere. I don't I think they're shad. I'm not sure if they're bluegill shad. I don't know. The last time I came here I didn't really know what I was doing. I think I was throwing a Sanko like right into the wind and that's before I even knew how to fish a Sanko. I was a wreck back then. Bottom line is I didn't know what I was doing but uh let's get to fishing and see what we can get. Check it out, y'all. Big drain pipes. That's the juice. Oh. Something just had my lure. Dude, it's a gar, look. It got the legs again. These gar are so aggressive, man. <laughs> look what it did to my vile bug. Dude, I just bought these. Y'all are beating them up, man. Didn't even know gar eat crawdads. All right, I'm gonna throw on a salty stick from Grande Bass. So the way these things work is they have a big fat bulbous tail. There's an air bubble in there. So like whenever they hit the bottom, they stand up like that. It's pretty cool. Look, there's a gar right there. Dude, I'm gonna see if he'll bite this worm. Dude, I almost got an alligator gar. Oh my goodness. I almost got an alligator gar. No way. <laughs> Those things absolutely destroy soft plastics, dude. This is insane. Did you guys see that, man? My goodness. That was so close. I can't believe I almost hooked him. I wonder if I set the hook hard enough if I'll get one. Look at them. They're surfacing right over there. There's so many little gar in here. Like baby gar and also that was a decent size one that hit mine. Oh, a bass. <laughs> hey, little dude. Man, I'm relieved to see you. I thought you were a gar. Thought you were gonna destroy my worm and run away again. I'll see you later. I poked myself. I'll live. Okay, what is that? Another bass. You are so slimy. You need to settle down. <laughs> Yet another one. Oh, quick release. Bye-bye. Today has just been absolutely unbelievable, guys. Holy moly. That was a huge blow up. There's a gar right in front of me. Let's see if it hit the swim bait. Oh, he got it. He got it. He grabbed it. I would say that was a pretty successful day of fishing. I don't remember how many bass I got. I almost got an alligator gar or a spotted gar. I don't know what they were, but uh, I caught more bass in one day than I normally would ever catching one day in San Antonio, which is crazy. I just don't think that these ponds down here really get much pressure, if any at all. Like I don't see any line hanging in the trees. I don't see any like, I don't see any yum dinger packages on the ground. I don't see anything. I don't think anyone really fishes them. But that was just a few spots out of, I think, like I said, 90. So I'm gonna be pretty busy scouting all these new spots for quite some time. You guys are gonna get to see so many crazy fish. You're gonna get to see so many new things, including possibly some saltwater fishing, like I said. But like I said at the beginning of this video, I had a surprise for you guys at the end and it's uh, right behind me. Check it out, y'all. Pretty decent. There's so much oak juice in this water that it's just, it's gone black now. But I am pretty sure that there's bass in here. I'm seeing tons of, I don't even know what these are, I guess, fry? They might be like baby bluegill, something like that. But there's no doubt in my mind that there's at least maybe one bass in here. Bluegill, no doubt. 
This pond's actually on an abandoned property. This property hasn't been used in over, I think, 15 years now. 10 or 15, one of the two. This pond used to be maintained. It used to be stocked at one point. Ever since then, it's just sat and became what it is now. Since no one else is claiming it, I guess I'm gonna claim it as mine. As far as upkeeping it goes, I'm just clueless when it comes to pond maintenance, so I don't even, I wouldn't know what to do. I just wanted to show this to you guys. I think it's pretty cool. This is a really nice pond. I like it. I haven't fished it yet. I haven't even, I haven't sunk a single lure in this thing. If you guys want to see me fish this pond, go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know if you guys want to see that. If you want to see some videos at this pond, just let me know. Try to find out what's in this pond, if anything at all. But uh, other than that, I don't really have much else to say. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit the comment section below. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and show me some support. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.